The United States Constitution guarantees to the citizens of this country equal protection of law, and government should not be in the business of uh, discriminating against one class or group of people. We've seen throughout our history, uh, you know, historical atrocities that were uh, created in that fashion, and uh, as uh, time has passed, uh, I think we've come to consensus that that sort of discrimination just has no place in free society. And so for those who uh, perhaps want to draw distinctions or limit uh, um, you know, opportunities for those of a particular class or particular persuasion, you're hurting West Virginia and you're hurting our business climate here by doing that. Um, when talent and ability uh, have an opportunity to uh, be the uh, evaluation mechanism, that's when we do the best. That's when we move forward as a state and as a people and as a nation. You know, for us, West Virginia to have a barrier up that says that people that are uh, not uh, going to be treated equally based on their sexual orientation, I think sets up barriers for folks to want to come and work here. Certainly young, talented people that uh, historically in our state and in most other states absolutely don't hold those type of prejudices uh, uh, or don't feel welcome going and participating in a state where uh, you know bigotry is acceptable so uh, bigots go home and uh, be open and have a, a open and free marketplace for participation for all people based upon their skills and their talent not upon uh, who they love it love it during the day or go home to at night Many of the gay men and lesbian women that I know are business owners, they're professionals, they're very well educated, and they are productive members of our society who give back to our communities. And if we do anything that would cause them to feel unwelcome in West Virginia, we are not just doing those individuals a tremendous disservice, but we're doing a disservice to ourselves, to our own communities, and to our entire state because we're telling the world that no, we don't want to be diverse, we don't want to be inclusive, and we don't want anyone to come here and live free. My number one priority for West Virginia is that our citizens have a community in which they feel like they can thrive. And our goal is to have the most educated, motivated citizens that we can find here in the state of West Virginia. And in order to do that, we need to make sure that we include everyone regardless of age, race, gender, sexual orientation, or gender identity. I think we really need to try to reach out to the broadest group that we can to bring as many people here into the state as possible. I don't believe in discriminating against anyone regardless of you know, race, gender, age, uh, sexual orientation. Um, I could never put myself and pretend to know what another person's experience is like. And so it's important to remember to treat people with fairness uh, regardless of where they come from because we all come from a different viewpoint and we all have the different experiences that shape us and make us who we are today. Uh, but it's important to keep that in mind um, because you know we're all human and we're all here for a purpose and we need to live that out and make sure we encourage others to do the same. Well, well first of all I feel that uh, a non-discrimination in West Virginia is the only thing to do. Uh, with a state that has been the only state in the United States since I believe the 1950s to see an overall decline in population, we can't afford to be driving anyone away from the state uh, for any belief or anything. Uh, furthermore, coming from a business background, uh, we found that the LGBT community has more discretionary income to spend at businesses. Uh, so for a small business owner, they would be probably the most inviting of someone of that community because again, they would probably have the most discretionary income to spend in those different venues. Uh, from a moral perspective, uh, I am a born again Christian and I feel that you should love everyone. Uh, and when love is in the air, uh, it just makes sense not to discriminate against anyone. That's what my personal beliefs. Well, I think it's important because we want to treat everyone in our state fairly. It's something that's uh, quite honestly long overdue. It's unconscionable to think that someone could be uh, fired from their job or, or uh, kicked out of their housing because of their sexual orientation. Based on personal beliefs, I think that the best 
rule should be uh, treat everybody with the kindness that you would want to be treated with. And regardless of your background, what your experiences have been, everyone should be treated individually. Uh, I feel based on their merits and, and um, you know, that, that's, that's probably the best advice that I could give. It's my personal view. I mean, everybody should be treated the same. I don't care the color of your skin or your creed or your, your background. You, you, everyone should be treated alike. I, I think of it from, from a theological standpoint. Uh, that's what my faith is about, is mercy for all, not just for people like me, but for everyone. Politically, I think um, uh, government is for, for all the people. What can make West Virginia great is not treating each other differently, but treating each other the same with fair, fair treatment.